Close. Hi, everyone. My name is Ben Vershbaum, the Director of Community Programs at the Wikimedia Foundation, and I'm here to sort of like uh, help facilitate and occasion this uh, really important gathering around the North America Hub. Um, just, I'm really excited by this turnout. Uh, just maybe a quick show of hands. Who Raise your hand if you have been involved with or at least been in some way tracking the sort of hubs space in movement strategy uh, in any way. Okay, good. So we're, we're pretty acclimated. Um, so this is going to really be dedicated to the North America hub conversation, but first just going to speak a few minutes just to kind of check in where, where are we with this whole hubs question. Uh, as you know, we reached a kind of a difficult point uh, not too long ago with the uh, non-ratification of the charter, which had a rather sparse definition of hubs, but that does not mean that we are not still invested as a movement and the foundation in equity and decision making, which is the movement strategy recommendation where the hubs con concept most like clearly lives. Um, we are really strongly committed to continue exploring hubs as a kind of a new kind of, we suspect, very needed movement entity. Um, we are committed to kind of moving more decision making and accountability to governance committees that are closer to the ground or closer to the topic where there's real expertise around that. And so this is no exception to that, to that general trend. So just want to kind of like, I know this is on a lot of people's minds. We're in kind of an interesting moment in the movement strategy process. Uh, we have a lot to figure out, but one thing we're pretty sure about is this is something we should keep exploring. So I want you to have that context as we go into this. And this isn't just an exploration. There's some hub work already happening in the world. We have an up and running hub in, in Central and Eastern Europe that is at, uh, like that is adding real value to that community. It's building on years of successful collabor collaboration, kind of revitalizing and refreshing that, and is giving us a really, I think, convincing model of what a, a regional hub can look like and the value it delivers. Not that it would be a copy and paste situation, but we have a really interesting, vivid model happening in Eastern, Eastern Europe that we're definitely learning a lot from. So I want to keep that in mind. And uh, there's work going on in the ECAP region, across Africa. There's a few different hub projects that we're trying to bring into dialogue with each other to see how does that coalesce. There's thematic hub explorations. The Language Diversity Hub is currently getting ready to pilot some early stage services. Volunteer Supporters Network, which has long existed, is looking into some hubification. And there are other ones that are uh, a little bit earlier along and uncertain in their next steps, but we're still engaging like the Education Hub, Content Partnerships, the Wiki Women Network, not thinking of itself as a hub at the moment, but is doing a lot of things that seem hub-like. So that's something we're tracking. So uh, this is a living space that is happening. Uh, it's not all theoretical. It's not all abstract. And uh, to better support this, uh, this next phase of experimentation, we're going to be at the foundation refactoring our support for hubs. So we've had, as you know, in the past few years, movement strategy grants uh, portfolio. And it's funded stuff related to hubs, but also other exploration. We are in the process right now of redesigning that to focus fully on hub enablement. Uh, and we are producing some clearer guidelines for that. Some of this stuff is going to be coming out in the next. Put the mic closer. Is it too soft? Oh, I'm so sorry. Can you hear me in the room? It's basically for the stream. Gotcha. Sweet. Um, we're going to be sharing some of those draft guidelines in the coming weeks, maybe month, and are keen to get your feedback. But what we're really on the cusp of is, is I think, of like a new, a refreshed take on supporting the hubs that are sort of coming to be, some that are already running. And that's sort of some of the stage that I wanted to set for this conversation. So now I'm going to hand it over to Peter, who is really the more uh, kind of the, the advocate for the idea that we're going to be hearing about today. Uh, and we'll also be hearing from our colleague Ariel on video. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for coming. Hi, I'm Peter, uh, president of Close to your mouth, please. Okay, right. Or you can try using the mic in front of you. I'll use this. I'm Peter, president of Wikimedia DC, um, a volunteer with Ariel Citrone, our staff person. Uh, we wrote a report, uh, research on the question of uh, North American hope. Uh, and we'll start, well, let me just first say, we, we had 15 Wikimedian organizers on our advisory board. We talked with them, and then we had 20 in focus groups, and then we met at many at last year's Wiki Conference North America and tried to gather systematic input. Then we also talked to chapter and hub organizers elsewhere in the world and synthesized. Ariel made a video describing that research, which I have somewhere here. Yeah, it's a 14-minute video, and I'll just sit down as soon as it's auto. 
Hello, my name is Ariel Citrone. I'm the Institutional Partnerships Manager for Wikimedia DC. Wikimedia DC, along with representatives from Wikimedia New York, as well as members are of our advisory committee, have worked over the last 12 months or so to uh, talk to the community to determine the need for a potential North American hub. Uh, you'll see at the bottom our shortcut on Meta to get to the full hub report. For my portion of the presentation, I will be referring to the report, uh, though the bullet points that are important to my presentation will be on the screen here. Uh, feel free to follow along in the report itself. Uh, again, the shortcut is on the bottom of the page. The goals of our reach search period were to determine the needs of the North American Wikimedia entities and interested parties in that region. We wanted to see if a hub could potentially meet these needs and grow the capacities of these user groups, affiliates, and organizations uh, through collaboration and services, as well as support. We wanted to talk to other hubs and chapters to see what they already do. There are, of course, some um, uh, hubs that are well on their way to forming or have already formed, for example, the CEE hub. So we talked to representatives from there to see what was successful for them. Other things that we looked at were ways that North American media entities could collaborate. Uh, we looked uh, into gathering and we did gather rather uh, feedback from North American with medians, managers of affiliates and organizations. We reported our findings to the advisory committee. Um, and we looked at some of the potential benefits, costs, risks and barriers to creating a North American hub. Over this time, we held interviews with hub and large affiliates, uh, the ones listed here. We had surveys for our advisory committees and others. We held a number of online focus groups and a big, large uh, capstone uh, focus group at Wikiconference North America last year in Toronto. Uh, all the data that you'll see in this first part of the report came out of these meetings. So what we heard from the community was that there is a need for support and service in particular areas, uh, and they're broken into these portions. Now, we have them in green, yellow, and red because green were the ones that we heard most uh, and were top priorities for folks that we spoke to. Uh, yellow are the ones that are important, but not you know as important, and product, as far as tools go, uh, was something that people wanted to see, but they weren't as interested. Um, and to sum it up, it really looks like the uh, support for programs, events, initiatives, education, administration, professional development, and communications would really be a great place to start, according to the feedback we got, um, as well as uh, policy and advocacy stuff can potentially um, come at some point as well as product. Uh, the rest of the presentation, as far as my part of it goes, is talking about what these specific things look like in these buckets of community and capacity building, a movement, and other. So these are some of the things that people said that they wanted for their organizations, affiliates, user groups, and so forth. Uh, I won't highlight all of them. You can take a moment to read them either on this slide or in the report. But what many people wanted to see were small grants to organizations to eliminate the administrative burden of applying to something uh, like the foundation. If you need just $500 or $1,000 for an event, um, that's a lot of paperwork sometimes. So how can we, how can we uh, soften that burden uh, of joint event calendar, conference support, um, support for editing events? Uh, GLAM outreach coordination, and this is a good time to remember, or I'm sorry, to mention that at the end of at least my uh, part of the presentation and Peter's presentation, we will be breaking out into uh, groups to talk about some of these things, how they can actually be implemented and who will actually do these things. So, for example, there will be a group for GLAM, there'll be one for governance and so forth. So keep that in mind as we read through these things. In addition, in the space of community and capacity building, organizations wanted to have a place like a, a physical hub um, in Meta to share educational resources, event uh, hosting materials, um, a directory of Wikimedians that are very helpful and would be willing to help others, um, and so forth. Uh, next, we have administration within community and capacity building. So this will be things like helping organizations grow their own capacities through assistance with uh, legal research and design, tax, uh, 
tax requirements, auditing, insurance, public relations, communications, that sort of thing. Uh, how can we really help as a hub work together to help other organizations uh, grow their own capacities and effectively promote their services as well as offer them in a more effective way? We hope to provide opportunities for de professional development. That could mean that representatives from uh, hub members might have a user access to uh, technology, uh, board management tools, uh, conflict resolution tools. They might be able to attend more conferences and share news about the open knowledge movement. We could potentially help people learn um, more about grant writing and so forth. So again, it's good to think of the hub as a place that will help user groups, affiliates, chapters, and so forth grow, um, as well as be a place where people could come and look for feedback and help others. Uh, we already mentioned some of this, but again, the help with communications, how can we amplify each other's events and how can the hub serve as a place that it will uh, effectively promote events uh, that are happening within the North American area. Next is public policy and advocacy. So I wanna be very clear when we're talking about policy and advocacy, we're not talking about the policy on uh, wikis. So we're not talking about Wikimedia policy, what can and can be, can't be done. We are talking about policy, um, governmental policy that affects the open knowledge movement. So how can uh, hubs within North America learn how to, for example, write to a congressperson, um, lobby for, help lobby for a bill that is uh, favorable towards our movement, those sort of things. So maybe a hub could provide uh, folks with those new skill sets. And next is online safety. Um, how to help people plan for Zoom bombing, how to um, uh, talk to cybersecurity experts and increase their own expertise in the area, um, how to um, use and create a playbook for online safety. So for example, if uh, we had a playbook on the uh, meta page for the hub, uh, so people could say, okay, X, Y, Z happened at my event. Now, what do I do? And it'll have clear next steps. Uh, one of the things that we heard a lot is that there are answers to questions out there, but it's really hard to find them. Not everything is all in one place. So what we want to do is make things easier to find uh, when it comes to tools for the North American Wikimedia. Next, we have tools, uh, products that the hub could be, assist with. So potentially coming up with a, a centralized toolkit or GLAMs, um, helping uh, build potentially a, a tool to promote events and initiatives, things like that. Now, the scope of the hub that we've discussed is, uh, and that has come up in our meetings, uh, though there was a little bit of back and forth, it should it be North American, should it be American? And the overall consensus was that the geography that for the hub should be North America, which of course includes US, Canada, Mexico, and the parts of the Caribbean. Uh, membership structure, it will be open to chapters, affiliates, user groups, and organizations. Individuals are invited to endorse. This is a similar to how CEE does it. I encourage you to uh, look at their meta page and it talks about how individuals are involved with the hub. Governance, uh, the governing board will potentially uh, have a representative uh, of each member. Now, this is not set in stone. This is something that will come across naturally. Um, and then if we are get to get to the point where the community decides that we want to staff, that can be ultimately decided by the board as well as community input. Now, here's some of our first steps for implementing the hub. So obviously we're here today to talk about moving this thing forward. Uh, and the first thing that we wanted to do to get it more formalized is to invite North American chapters and user groups to support and endorse the hub in concept and practice. And that's what we would like you to do. We'd like you to talk through it. We'd like you to uh, have these breakout groups and talk about how these things may actually come to be, who would be willing to help with these things. Once we get uh, are on the same page about wanting to move the hub forward. We don't have to have, of course, everything figured out, but once we have things where they need to be, we invite you to endorse the hub and Peter can go over how you can do that. Once we feel that we have the support, support of enough people within the community, we can move forward with some of these other things, which include applying for a foundation uh, movement strategy grant to get 
um, funds on the table that can be distributed to the community. Uh, this will be done potentially by Wikimedia DC or New York to serve as a fiscal agent. Uh, and that would obviously be um, something that would be open to discussion. But the idea is to get the money in hand and start getting it to members of the hub. Um, eventually, we will have a committee the, uh, with an eye towards a formal board. So we already had an advisory committee. Potentially, we can go back to the committee um, and get feedback as well from this event today to figure out um, how a committee in one form or the other, whether it's current form or new form, could eventually um, become a more formalized board. And uh, lastly, we want to establish an organizational structure. So obviously many of us are volunteers. I am not a volunteer, but there are very few paid um, staff people at chapters and user groups and affiliates in North America compared to other regions around the world. So we need to figure out how we can leverage those people, uh, get interested volunteers, while also acknowledging that this may take actual staff to make it happen. So we're going to look at potentially hiring temporary program co coordinators uh, to, and establish roles for contributors and members, which is something that we hope to talk about at the breakout sessions. One of the things we want to do as far as implementation is we want to demonstrate value and show you all that what the hub can do for you, how it can help you grow your capacities and also take some of the burden of applying for grants off the table. Um, also, provide a resource that you can use for materials and services. We, again, this is part of the first phase that we were thinking about. We want to develop a plan for fund development. We want to provide support for Wiki Conference North America. And we want to encourage buy-in for growth. Some of the other first phase activities are to design communication plans in English, Spanish, and French, launch educational sessions uh, that include professional development opportunities, plan a series of small, medium, and events um, and gatherings throughout the year. And this is a good time to plug that Wikimedia DC will be doing just that with a glam camp, probably in the spring here in DC. Once we have an endorsement of the hub, we start figuring out how we start getting small grants to people. We start to figure out a central landing place for services, uh, manuals, uh, support tools. Uh, we will go ahead and start thinking about a logo. Um, and eventually, if it comes to the time where after about a year, because we've talked about a year or potentially a two year pilot for this, if it comes to the end of that period, and people like what they see, they felt like the hub was helpful, that they've learned from each other, that they've been able to help each other, that they've made connections through networking to ultimately improve the projects, then we may consider expansion. So with that, I'm going to uh, hand it over to Peter. Again, I apologize that I'm there, that I'm not there rather. Um, I do uh, hope that you take a moment to look at Meta colon uh, NA hub to look at the full report. The idea now is we would love to continue to get your feedback and have you break into those groups and talk about these things a bit more. So I look forward to hearing from the team uh, what was discussed and where we landed in all of this. But thank you so much. And I will hopefully see you all soon. Then I just have five, ten minutes more. Mike. I just have ten minutes more of comments that I'll uh, points I'll emphasize and then hand back to Ben. And then we have hopefully at least 20 minutes to discuss various issues and breakouts. Um, Pretty good. Huh? I'm an advocate for having American Hub. Uh, I learn from talking to the people in the other hubs that they are built around conferences. They have these prior conferences experiences like this one. They're very high morale events. They're glad they came. They want to come back. They're happy to be with their people. And, and those events create the, the bonds of people and, and the, the 
practices, the subjects that they uh, are inclined to form their hub around. And we can do that too. It was interesting to learn from a highly organized chapter, Wikimedia UK, how they, they're really quite highly organized and integrated in, into the British system. Uh, they employ many of the Wikimedians and residents from the chapter. Um, CEE Hub is also quite structured. They're actively reaching out frequently to their many, many 33 different user groups, languages. Uh, they, they put a lot of effort into being organized and holding the band together. Even having heard that, I thought that what makes sense for North America is a loose confederation because we have existing groups. They've been around a long time. The people are independent. They're doing different things. I was interested to get the sense that when I learned about somebody's project, it always sounded like a reasonable, sensible project, even if it had never occurred to me before, and that we did not need to enforce any standardization. At this point, the future may look different. Uh, there are regions in which there are more intense conflicts than we seem to have. And there, they, they seem to need more hub governance. They have to actually make decisions through some process, more voting. We may need very little voting. Uh, at least that was my impression from the people I talked to. Uh, and that we have the capacities we need. We have already chapters, bank accounts, nonprofits, people with many, many skills and experience, um, both in the real world and the, in the in the wiki world, uh, whereas in some hub regions, most of the user groups have no way, they, they don't have a bank account. They're not big enough to be a chapter. And so the hub will need to provide governance or banking. Uh, we'll have to be a fiscal sponsor for things. So that, 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 makes, that gives us a different situation where we, we might be more like a peer network. Uh, also, that mode minimizes cost and strain of, and difficulty of getting started. I, I think we don't want to have another structure with elections, if we can avoid it. Um, right, and the diversity of the activities we now have is quite excellent, and and we we support it if we don't force uh, any of the groups into a particular structure. We we depend as fuel on the enthusiasm of people in this room, and. And we give up some of that fuel if we have too, too uh, strong a structure. So we can imagine minimal governance. That is a hub as just a coalition or network of, uh, let's say, 10 user groups and chapters. And also as a pilot project, a thing with a sunset date that just shuts down if, we, if, if the groups don't want to continue. It, thus, the hub itself would have no budget and no particular authority, the user groups would still have their authority and maintain their standing independent of the hub. It, that also helps in the sense that there are groups that won't want to join, there are groups that will want to join, and I see no reason for any discrimination or antagonism on that basis. So uh, the hub doesn't become a center of power and money. It isn't an intermediary between the WMF and the, and the user groups regarding their own survival and funding. I have a preference to welcome thematic groups into to, to be hub members. I think these are groups that are really associated with our region, uh, like the Media Wiki stakeholder developers, uh, LGBT plus, Wikimed, Wikisource, WikiEdu, uh, because they provide service to North Americans. So instead of fix, fixing on only geographic groups, it seems to me groups active in North America that are already affiliates of the foundation, we can include them. That is my preference. That is not a deal breaker. Uh, I've been back and forth with people on what, how much governance or authority a steering committee for the hub would need. A steering committee is a term from CEE, and I think we should adopt it so that we can be as compatible as possible. But uh, another phrase would be board. Um, I think the minimal thing they need is the capacity to, to know that a group's name has changed, that a group is leaving, that a group is losing its affiliation, or that a group wants to come in. Assuming groups want to come in, how are they accepted? Nobody has to vote on that. The steering committee could do that with rep one representative from each of the existing groups. That would be simple and quick, since in general, we would just want to let in another group that wanted to come in. 
potentially a, a project might be controversial, expensive, and maybe the hub steering committee would say, no, we don't want to put the North American hub name on that one. Uh, that may never come up, but it's a, it's a power the steering committee should have. I, 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 the hub should report, but the, the hub's report of activities it does in the North American region might be just an addendum to the Wiki Conference North America annual report to the foundation and to the public. I am curious whether people think that's enough because that's quite minimal, quite doable. We would just need to get to yes to get that started. There'll be a breakout group on that if there's interest. Suppose we have that hub. What can we expect to happen? Here are my predictions. The hub would immediately support future Wiki Conference North America conferences. We could plan a little further in the future about where they will be or what, what programs they will be. We won't be waiting for a grant to arrive before we can make certain deals. Um, you can expect our chapter or some chapter to quickly apply to the Wikimedia Foundation for a, for a mid-sized grant, let's say $25,000, to give out small grants. Because one thing we definitively heard in the focus groups is this is a big hole in what our movement is doing, is that somebody who has an edit-a-thon, let's say in an unusual place or an unusual topic, they need $200 just for reserving a place, food, something fun to do. They can't get that grant from the foundation, which will not give such small grant. So, so the uh, a chapter could do that on behalf of them. It's not administratively difficult. We just need to legitimate a chapter to offer something to the hub in its form. You can expect better publicity and communication, online newsletter, uh, a portal, a, a calendar of events, so we can see the events occurring across North America. Uh, the the uh, mailing list might come back to life because we would have people a little bit dedicated to this and a larger scale. You can anticipate, uh, we, we have external funding in my chapter to offer a glam camp and would like to offer that to North Americans broadly. I think a number of other things will go well if we are on slightly larger scale, better connected together among ourselves and that we call it a pilot project, right? How would we get there if you thought we should? Um, this QR code will take you to the uh, draft agreement that we can imagine if 10 chapters, uh, 10 user groups agreed to it, we could then declare that we have a hub. A more likely thing is that you would have comments on there want to tweak it, and that is totally sensible. We'll see who among the groups is interested in being in it. That tells us uh, who we're negotiating with over a text. Steve Brown made a nice user box on Meta, which is uh, a natural way to build up support. And uh, you can put user NIH uh, template on your Meta page, and it will say that you support a hub. And you could do that without needing an affiliate to approve. It's just a person's opinion. And again, I'm hoping for support from all across Wikiconference North America, because the boundaries of this happy conference, I think, will be the the boundaries of a, a successful hub, but it really is made up of the, the groups that join it. And now we'll have breakout groups, possibly possibly these or, or slim or slimmed down or added. That Ben takes charge. So thank you for absorbing all the information that was shared. We're going to shift into the more participatory part of this discussion. Now, for those on the stream, unfortunately, we do not have the ability to an elegant solution for a hybrid participation in this. So what I would suggest, if anyone, unless Jamie, you might have an alternative, was that you can follow along uh, in the Etherpad and also per and make your own input in the Etherpad uh, by these breakouts. Q&A too, if people want to sure. answer a question. Cool, yeah, we can have, well, we'll see if we can work that in uh, a Q&A period, maybe during the share outs, get something from the stream. Okay. Question? Everything being discussed talks about groups. What about those of us in flyover country? Those of us who were isolated and working on our own in the, in the hinterlands. Right. I'm going to hold on to that. That is something. Oh, do you want to address that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. I should have answered that before. It seems to me that it's hard to start and that it's hard for a, a, a new network to manage individuals who have just signed up, but an immediate thing the affiliates should do is figure out how to include individuals 
But of course, you could volunteer for something to support the hub. But presumably, there might there would be positions or roles uh, to be filled that somebody could volunteer to fill. But to start, I think it has to be affiliates. I think part organizations of, that aren't affiliates might be welcome. Also. Individuals who are in places where there's not a group like DC or New York, it's they want to feel represented and like they have a voice and like they can contribute. I, th I think that's the thing too is like having programming that anyone can go to, having things that people can have a say in. I think that's really what it's about is feeling represented and like you're a the community. Can you repeat that in the mic for those of us who didn't hear it? Right. Individuals who aren't in affiliates don't feel represented. But I, it's not a thing uh, I could answer better than I just did. I think that, Jenny, do you have something that you're burning to say that wouldn't fit into one of these breakouts? Yeah, sort of a top level observation. Sure. We'll have a quick comment, but then I'm going to walk us into this uh, breakout structure where we'll have a lot more opportunity to talk about it. So the, the thing I'm trying to reconcile is the presentation that Ariel, 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 Ariel gave, which is the demand seemed to be on administrative fiscal sponsorship money, but then the proposal that I'm hearing on the table is actually like very thin, like no, no little administration, no little financial. So I was just trying to understand how our research led to the proposal on the table. I think that's, that's just sort of on a very top level. Comments on that, yeah. Peter? It's hard to start. We're, we're many years behind where we should be. I think we should choose a way of starting that's easy so and that the path she describes is a good one after. Okay. Got it. So this is just like next step. This is the immediate next step that we're contemplating. So to contemplate that in a little bit more detail and maybe guided by what uh, top subtopic of this space is most important to you, we've from the kind of research, we've kind of surfaced these kind of cluster topics that um, are likely to be or are strong candidates to be among the initial pilot service offerings or are kind of key elements of the design of the hub, like the governance that, you know, you have to start looking at uh, right away. Uh, so for GLAM, which is a big programmatic theme we know is very prominent in the region, uh, but there's still like fragmentation and, and, and thoughts of the hub could really provide some of that support and cohesion. That's going to be a topic led by Sarah Snyder, who's both a practitioner and, and uh, of, the, of the GLAM space and a member with Media DC and the community. Uh, finance and grants. Um, this is most specifically about, I'll be facilitating this one, about the question of redistributing funds in closer to the ground, closer to the activities that are happening, and maybe in smaller increments, or any other aspect of that question of resourcing uh, that is important to you or you have input on. That's something I'm going to be hosting a discussion on. We're going to be gathering input uh, as this moves toward a hypothetical pilot stage. What are the things we need to keep in mind? What are some ideas we've overlooked? Um, and that could also have space, uh, to your point, Jenny, of like other aspects of hub finance. But I would say, come to talk to me, or Peter, obviously, later. Uh, me, from the more foundation perspective of what kind of support is, on, is going to be available. Peter, from the kind of hub design standpoint. Um, so that'll have some space for that, but we mostly want to look at that question of grants and micro grants as a service offering. Communications and knowledge management, there's a lot of connecting and, and, and just surfacing of activity and people making those connections. That's something that uh, Elena Lappin from our movement communications department at the foundation will be facilitating. I expect there's a lot of thinking on that part, and that might have some bearing on this question of, uh, I don't love the term flyover states, but you know what I mean, like the folks who aren't in the obvious centers and clusters that, that are getting attention. Um, there is, as, as Ariel said, it didn't come up super strongly, but it is mentioned, it is on the landscape of issues, product work, t uh, tooling work. If there are people who want to talk about that, Giovanna is happy to convene that and take notes. Uh, if that doesn't kind of amount to a cluster, uh, Giovanna probably will join the GLAM one, a lot of expertise there. And then, of course, governance, steering group, um, and what kind of kind of, uh, what kind of structure and decision-making process should that cohere? Now, in all of these, I think we're looking for more input uh, on what these could, could uh, what these could involve or should involve, but also like a sense of who's interested in playing a part. Uh, this isn't a formal <laughs> recruitment process, but I think the hub promoters here are looking to get a sense of who actually wants to get involved, roll up their sleeves, and make this thing real. So that's also fair game. Um, and I'm going to just float that maybe this thing that was brought up about individual perspectives or groups that don't feel as kind of like uh, uh, sort of present on the map in the network. Maybe that could be a sixth cluster. People want to kind of gather around that topic. So 
that's sort of a quick overview. Quick show of hands on GLAM. Are there enough people here to constitute a GLAM cluster? Okay, there's a few. So Sarah is at this table. So in a moment, not yet, when we do our kind of big room rearrangement, that'll be where the GLAM discussion is. Finance and grants. See a few hands. Cool. Come meet me up here in a moment. We can talk about that. We'll merge if we need to. Communications and knowledge management. Cool. Well, maybe Elena will go over there. <laughs> Great. Um, is there enough interest in sort of a product and tooling as a category beyond glam? Cool. Great. Giovanni, you've got a, a cluster to convene. Can we cluster the tool in glam, or do we really not want to do that? Glam, I thought we would have more. Yeah, I mean, the glam is a small group that raised their hands. If you feel comfortable joining that one, but if you but if you want to talk about the non technical aspects of glam, that would maybe merit a different breakout. So. I would say go to the tooling and product one. And if you're like, nah, we need our own glam table, go make that table. Um, and lastly, governance. Okay, cool. And Peter is going to be facilitating that one. Why don't you go back to the where I saw a bunch of hands? So, and is there interest in this sixth floated topic that came up from from a few folks about like what's what, where are individuals or smaller groups or folks not in the big epicenters? Where does that get kind of heard and voiced and, and, and supported in the hub. Is that something that people want to like cluster around? Show of hands. I think some of them go in existing groups. So okay, cool. Send it's not the only time to have these conversations. At the end, Rich is going to plug another opportunity tomorrow where we'll talk more. And obviously, uh, this conversation will be ongoing. So remember what you raised your hand for. If you get confused, just ask one of us folks with mics and stuff to direct you and move to your cluster. And let's hope this goes okay. Yeah, we are going to go for about, I would say, 20-ish minutes and then do a quick report out and close out. We're like probably, yeah. We have you guys up here. Finance and... Uh, we were at Adult Pacific about all of them. We never actually had one. Other Ohio. That alone would deserve a new one. It's the public government. Peter. Make people come to us. I did. You got to introduce me. Let's see. I want to. If I could, it's a lot of time if you got to do it during the cherry block. You're going to come. You seem funny. I'm going to say, you have one of the ones. We're so excited to see that the world fits. I'm not the right person. I was not know many people here were that, but I know that people not. In that case, you're welcome. Yeah, PTSD. Hypothetically. See if there's an existing hiring. And that's fair game to capture questions and thoughts about here too. But uh it's a nice little bit of that is to take notes in the ether pad while I don't think we're gonna need a lot of active facilitation. We're all kind of do like the kind of some kind of mechanism, similar amounts of money that people would It's not all of it. It's like we found money for pizza and maybe like an AD there. Not big enough to rate as a private grant to merit that kind of process. Is an ether and it has sections for each of the breakout conversations. Um, affiliates do some of that, and he is getting is doing that, and it's going to be. Um, but, I'm big. No, I'd say I'd say affiliates are probably the best to keep part of on an idiosyncratic basis. But it's but it, but it, but it, sort of uh, kind of what their budget is and also what they how best they want to spend. Some of them use it for more than You will? I will take it. So, oh, 
Response. That service offering with the volunteer model most is like that's a gap we would like to fill by hub. I didn't have this. We're actively at the foundation experimenting already. This topic the already pretty friendly enough. And then the rest of like things about resourcing, about other things, about strategy. It should be done ideally closer. The ship that is starting to already get it rapid as that are equipped, maybe around like multiple photo readings. So I've just I think because not everything very small micro grant rapid is not only the thing we've heard about, but there's also the grants. So don't feel like you're limited to about the micro in this region. So yeah. but I don't that I've seen even because I'm not going around and like say our piece starting with my stuff at all. So those and realities. Running list of what events they're doing. Uh, 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 we can't keep them entry level. Maybe contact people. They drop spot. So that's what would happen. We can do something to get up with for calendar international and so that they out of date and I think that's one of the biggest things that we've had the attacking the options is that there's not a unified voice to be coming in and saying there is a problem. Um, it's just a lot of us are in And I and also, I was actually suggesting we could go around and just that no one's talking about tech. And so I feel like all of us are talking about tech, at least in the glam space. Or the glam being an online hands up. And about the end, those are the biggest questions that the research has done. We need to reach people across the big street. Uh, and I don't have a breakdown. And reimagine how much we need. I'm going to assume it's dealer and things like that. And so I really personally envision a hub of. Socialize and advocate and be able to sort of like I know these like it is hub fundraising. I'm going to make sure that I bring it to uh foundation and have it sell to share that what the game was. I know the United States. And they're going to have kind of some of these. And I don't know what's perfect, but I don't know like. And then just one of the video and here. I don't know. Massive. And then one thing I talked a lot about is functional. And I know when we had our conversation Wednesday with the foundation, that's a real thing. And I know this is something for other things, but in terms of. I need, in other words, I need metrics. I need metrics because my boss doesn't have a new boss, does not get Wikipedia. I could be at a and I, position in the network for volunteers to play that function. I manufactured yeah. statistics yeah. for and now they don't. She wants to see something more official and granted and something that she can look at and understand rather than me having to be like, okay, apply for this, they have this, this, and So just having something that is visual that can really show the project, um, it's huge important. I think we all need that because so many of us are struggling. Go to one calendar. No, hey, my job matters. I captured your question too about just in the U.S. Clarification I would ask is the, what the funding of the representatives of the foundation going to be like, now I'm going to give you $10,000 to fund this or is the top's responsibility being the middle and the woman? I know I got grandfathered into the foundation. Yeah, I want to know to what extent. Back me up here, or, or well, add. I can remark on this, but yeah. if you have. Well, my quick, my quick answer. Tell me if I don't yeah. work on the resource. But, but what I've been. I saw it was just like is 
that's not that that could be true. Like, 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 I mean, I think where even I look at an area where there's like decision making, so one process is closer to our our our. She can look at it. Right, so we can the right way to I can look at it. Making, but the kind of administ the grant administration piece of it. So it's really moving the decision. Almost six years. Where there is a possibility of having the mechanism to do all that one, I think we might. Yeah, exactly. Um, but that's my thing. It's just more like it could be an option if that's the barrier. No, we, know we could handle this from a decision making standpoint. We don't have all that. We still backstop that. That's not off the table. Um, yeah, and our our cataloger is that, right block a huge e data project. Uh, yeah, I, think that I didn't even know. So says next. And I have no way to document that to my boss. She doesn't even know. About. And I need somebody to be able to be like, oh, there's also this happening that I didn't. Um, and that's the thing. Depends on like page view thing that I have now. The Dominic is involved with one of us. Um, that is meaningless to her. Want to reach out to us. She looks at it. And she's like, great, four million views. I don't know what that means. Percent is rapid fun. Views, but I'm sorry, that's not good enough. Um, Jamie too is the position is that representing the members saying sort of open through not just one wonder if there's a larger circle like some some of the players not make support where if they find the program they want to run. I would say that people are motivated to try to really the idea of more a more local diversifying centers of right technology away from the foundation. That's something like Rick started talking about this. Yeah, how's that? Right. The foundation. I think some some in the hub. It's a bit difficult for them to show My experience is that there are so many topics that could be. Second option is that still the one It's really hard to stay on the second option is that the hub makes decision making around long enough to the nation is still really fail. To the individual. Don't do this purposely. And then model to happen is that it seems it thinks of the point it's not on fire existing structure. Maybe it's pretty good for now. Right. And then we have to move our focus on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. It may be five years, six years, seven years before the plot You know, right. The one was. The whole thing, especially when it is making all in the model, the current model right now. It's a little one, it's not just by the whole, but yeah, there's nothing yeah, for the little ones. Right now, what the thing is that we're just speaking, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Getting work for groups, right? To, we can like give two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars here, and then we do that in the yard holes on it. So that's the that's the thing on the We know what we um, need. Uh, I mean, all they'll talk. Like, that's my picture. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> like every like, and, and like with so Candy Pan, we know what's wrong. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Old version of Candy Pan. But the idea, like, we know that someone don't want to make it. They're moving it. Old version of Candy Pan. And it's supposed to do that. And I don't know that those are not going to have a. I don't think this conversation is happening. So I don't know. I feel like that. My hope of the hub is that who intakes that money and helps facilitate the conversation for them. So I think that's the big thing. I understand the risk of giving like this, money actually, to up. an individual. And if we have a hub that's so, is, that, is, is that something that they could hold on to that money, pay it out as the facilitate the conversation. You know, support and 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 the and and documentation and of that, you know, this is a work this year done, at the trial update, and stuff happened. like that, send that back to the big and my hope for a hub too is that it can be the facilitator of funding for the rest of this thing. Um, I want to do it. I want to call the I was saying, I think. Yeah. 
What about the hub is going to be do this one? I don't think we are correct. So, so it's two different right? Like cross border. So, I think Canada does get the lump sum, get lump sum in the US, but you do not want it. So, I think back to something that in what Gary they were saying to the of like let you know, videos and one of our America administrator organization like that. I feel like the
on the conference. Okay, everyone, just letting you know we have about five minutes to keep discussing before we're going to go and share results. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> and so, like, if um, yeah, what comes up for us? They're grown up. Like, they're kind of way more grown up than like a national person. I can What's the Holy Trinity? Andrew's got a lit. I have a lit. For the end of the so I looked at like 20 different like examples. And there's two hundred. Yeah. I'll just some degree of self determination over like we save the presentation tomorrow too. And I show how I like kind of Jimmy rigged the dashboard to give uh, me some. They can take the Think about priorities, but you look at this from an out more global yeah, perspective. The reason why one hundred are ten would be based on what they're doing. Like, it has the problems with for example. Also, moving straight just to cover everything, everything that happens. Um, Maybe yeah, some other novel area that they. Of my month, I think it's sort of, yeah. wouldn't call them a middle, uh, like a middle man or middle woman, because they would be able to have somebody with a wide discretion of her. But I think this thing we're going to be talking about the output of the GLAM CSI project is user for files, which like has a to how software to actually kind of build created in the have the ability Thoughts or things you want to add to like seats like this. Like, done a character in the American by Ekisu's the American climate. That would be on the whole of the Toronto chapter started dying out in itself, and now you've got a big you're then you're comparing a big questions with the I don't know if you know about you that broke it like small amounts of your lung are a tremendous document for that just for to put people in a little little amount so people know to have a second election like the interest in doing so much yeah just to a back like a dollar to see off it they there's a couple of things which is on integration so have a case not really a great need for them so a, a, a longer that way easier not that we know. Oh, what? That original. Hello? This is your one minute warning. Let's wrap up and then we're going to do a quick report out. Because we'll have to conclude in about ten minutes. That too, like that. Stop the group to not go through. I doubt that the interns and people are going to try to work out. Oh, okay. I can't jump the line. No, so you're going to do it here. That point too, so I kind of gets the finance, but my understanding is foundation doesn't take us through the grants. I took I took notes. You're welcome. Okay, okay. If I could have everyone's attention, clap once if you can hear me. Twice if you can. Thank you. Um, so clearly, these conversations are going strong. So I really, it pains me to cut them short. As I said before, they don't need to stop here. Folks, can we just have a, can we just have Clyde in the room over there? So, shh, 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 shh. Thank you. 
Okay, we have only a few minutes left. So what I was going to propose is that we kind of just go around and like a one minute report out. It can be in the process of synthesizing, not comprehensive, maybe highlights. Elena, can I volunteer you to start us off from the, uh, I mean, so just give us a flavor and then we'll keep moving around and then I'm going to hand it over to Richard for some closeout. Um, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You? Okay, so we had a great discussion over here about communication and knowledge management. I'll try to summarize this in like the 40 seconds that are left. Um, we did talk a lot about how a shared calendar would be tremendously useful. Um, we've got some people with experience in that who are willing to kind of figure out how we might do that for, for the hub. Um, the idea of newsletters had a lot of traction and having that be a newsletter that is also a blog so that people won't need to be subscribed in order to get the information. They can kind of like stumble upon the blog, see that they're interested in it, subscribe, not subscribe, but have it be available in both formats. Um, we talked about the importance of creating an institutional knowledge repository. So all of the institutional knowledge that is in this room from chapters and user groups about how they get things done, things like uh, negotiating partnerships or best practices for creating safe spaces, things like that, having that all available in like one central place would be really, really helpful for people. Um, also, you, creating a directory, kind of an ambassador's model of people in, that are regionally based or people that have thematic expertise that are willing to be listed as part of this directory as being a resource to other people on particular regions or particular subject areas, and then somebody that would be able to keep that really up to date so that it would be useful for everyone uh, across the region. Um, and we talked about like different forums for discussions that we might use for async discussions, synchronous discussions, in person, virtual, but that would be great for somebody to take on the question of like, what are the best communication channels for the hub um, and kind of like get that whole thing started. So yeah, a lot of good ideas and a lot of um, enthusiasm for taking some of this on in this group. So that was great. Thank you. That was amazing and coherent. Um, was there a separate glam discussion? You merged. Okay. So I'm going to hand this to Giovanna now to do a quick one minute or less. Just just recap, give us the flavor. What was uh, what were the main things covered here? Okay, so we decided to merge both because um, we understood that there is a lot of, you know, similar to the two discussions. And I think the main thing that I can take out from this entire discussion is that basically uh, we need to decentralize tech away from the foundation because... Um, um, it is difficult to work with all the groups representing what they want and everyone wants, right? And um, so, like, WMF, as we have a lot of work to do, and sometimes we need to move away from certain activities to focus to focus on other activities because we do have a lot. And a hub would be this middle point entity that would facilitate um, this um, the 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 work with tools and metrics especially uh, as it would be this um, entity in which the resources would go to community members to perhaps develop tools in a kind of faster way that the foundation could do. Um, and specifically in the US and in North America, there is a gap when we are talking about GLAM and TAC and, um, as we don't have like a major entity kind of working on it, uh, like in the name of federal or, or international way with all the the, the user groups uh, in the, the entire region. So the hub could be, um, could act on that. So the institutions in the US wants to, to work with Wikimedia. Sometimes they don't feel represented, as you were saying, by, I don't know, Indiana or DC or New York. And they are looking for some representation and they need this kind of federal international level to act on. And uh, maybe the hub could be, uh, where this technical and glam conversations meet, basically, serving to this gap. Can I make a very quick announcement? Yes, of course. If you guys want to continue this conversation or uh, merge conversation groups, I think that was our main intention on Saturday night at the AMP at 16 Tech. Totally scooped Richard's announcement, but maybe you'll repeat it. No, 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 it's great. It's good that we're all on the same page, though. That That's a good sign. It's not like, oh, he was talking about something different. Uh, I'll quickly just do a not do it justice recap of the finance because I'm going to hand over to Peter to do both recap of governance and maybe or Leanna maybe if you were and then maybe any last words uh, just about to close out the session. But just quickly here, a lot of interest. There's I mean 
it seemed to me there was pretty much a ready consensus that like, yeah, something like this is needed. So we were a lot of like just trying to figure out how exactly would that work? Like, how do you keep the, the requirements, the reporting and kind of application requirements really light and not burdensome? How do you make things quick? What skills should we expect? Baseline skills of like, you know, receipts and reimbursement and reporting. Uh, should we expect? Does that need to be trained for? How do you do this across borders? If this is a multi-country uh, multi region, do you need to have buckets per country and then figure out a way to administer that? That's going to maybe require more than one administrative structure with more than one maybe affiliate pitching in to do that. So we didn't answer how that would be done, but a lot of good notes were taken about. Uh, well, I don't know how good they were, but I took them. But 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 adequate notes were hopefully taken to capture some of the questions about. So it was cool. It wasn't really debate, should this happen? It was really about how would it happen? And also not only in microgrants, but maybe the whole rapid grant process moving into the region closer to the ground. And that's something that the foundation is is helping to facilitate at different speeds, depending on the region and the theme. Um, so that could kind of merge with this idea of microgrants. So I'll leave it there. I probably missed some stuff. And uh, Deanna, take it away for a governance recap. I would say we had more questions than answers um, in terms of what the governance structure should look like. And I think there were particularly strong questions about um, how Wikimedia Canada and Wikimedia Mexico would particularly interact with the North American Hub, um, given that they are both strong existing chapters um, with staff. And that seemed to be a sort of consistent theme around questioning what role the hub plays and how that overlaps, especially given um, Mexico exists in the Latin American uh, funding bucket for grants. And so how does that overlap if we have different uh, structures for those? Peter, I will pass it back to you then. Uh, back to Ben. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I think I speak for Peter just saying thank you. Uh, this is a really great turnout and just just like just the kind of informal just like scan. I'm like, wow, a lot of people I hope would be here are here. There's probably people missing. Bring them in uh, both in this during this conference and certainly in coming weeks and days. There's sort of like a they're trying to the, the hub is the hub promoters are trying to get an initial like voicing of support. Uh, and so the uh, maybe we'll put that uh, ether, um, QR code back up in case you want to get that meta page where the sort of the kind of basic agreement. Uh, is there, uh, but it, you know you know who to talk to if you want to have follow up questions. And as was said by Jamie and and Richard, also have been ha kind of trying to organize this tomorrow night in the kind of social um, time. There's an expectation that there'll be more kind of discussion about hub stuff. So please come to that. Bring other people you wish had come here to that. Really nice, like kind of enclosed room with lots of outlets, so we'll be able to like speak freely. It is kind of an open space. Yes. So we'll have privacy. Oh. Just in time for you to finish. Sorry. But, but it sounds like it's a dedicated space for the hub discussion. It's not just a big space that some people can. And we got it for free. <laughs> oh, amazing. We are at a break now before one last session block before the end of the day and the reception stuff. But um, thank you so much. Thanks for coming out. Uh, 